So, on reading uh, the comments to the video I posted yesterday, a uh, couple of thoughts. Um, first, my radicalized hair. Um, as I understand it, that would mean that my hair has had its opinions taken to a degree, um, uh, uh, ta uh, taken to an extreme, wherein it views violence as an acceptable expression of those beliefs. Um, to clarify, if you feel that my hair modifies beliefs sufficiently to incite violence, it would be radicalizing, not radicalized. Um, so if you believe that my hair itself is violent, or is an act of violence, then yeah, yeah. Um, on, a more, um, on a more serious note, as a neighbor is loudly blowing their nose in the background. Um, <laughs> on a more serious note, um, something that a lot of people kind of, um, a, a, a lot of people um, indicated in the comments, or the direction of the comments, um, uh, indicated a point that um, I kind of glossed over that's probably worth clarifying. Um, when I'm talking about the proposition that meaning exists, um, I am not talking about the, I am not talking about where meaning comes from. Um, if meaning is personal perspective, or meaning is a human activity, or um, meaning is um, a value measurement that is applied to. Um, uh, that is applied to our pattern recognition process um, in order to justify, uh, uh, justify in some abstract way uh, the prioritization and hierarchy that we apply in pattern creation. Um, none of those really pertain to, or all of those rather, are um, subsidiary to the proposition that there is meaning. Um, let's take the, uh, take the, um, uh, one of those examples. Um, let's say that, uh, uh, meaning is an activity, uh, 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 meaning is created, um, through, a uh, human interpretative action with their sense perceptions and the abstractions that they, um, create from those sense perceptions. That's a teleology. That's telling us where meaning comes from, and maybe, maybe we can get into um, what meaning is based on this proposed where meaning comes from. But again, that's teleology. Um, uh, uh, defining, uh, 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 defining and uh, expositing via origins. Um, that doesn't, um, the teleology of meaning um, is still built on the proposition of an extant meaning. Um, we do not explain the existence of a thing that we do not hold to exist um, in much the same way that, well, and these parallels, these parallels are just getting easier as we're going along, um, in much the same way that um, one does not hold, uh, uh, one does not hold, um, uh, an argument for the existence of God as meaningful if one is not considering the proposition of an extant God. Um, it's, it's the same, uh, same kind of problem. Um, so um, uh, all, all of these, um, uh, all of these um, are examples of, uh, of um, illustrating, uh, uh, expounding on meaning, expanding from this foundational proposition that there is meaning. Um, but none of them justify it. You know, none of, uh, none of them justify it, um, except by way of argumentative necessity, like um, my proposition B is dependent upon proposition A, that there is meaning. Um, and so I need this meaning proposition in order to move forward. Um, but again, the same thing applies for 
the same thing applies for uh, arguments for the existence of God. And any argument that is contingent on extant meaning um, could be restructured in such a way as to be contingent on a different set of premises um, in much the same way that we can, uh, in much the same way that we would object to um, an argument for the existence of God uh, by way of moral necessity. Uh, we can propose alternative uh, sources and structures of morality um, and alternative origins for morality, and so we would object. Um, same thing, same problem. Um, another, and this I'll probably do as um, another video I hope a video because I really I I do not I do not want to do I do not want to do a series on representational error and probability problems. I really don't want to. This has been whining, by the way. This is what it looks like if you've ever wondered. I don't want to. Um I will probably wind up doing at least another video um just on this subject. But um Probability with metaphysical propositions doesn't work. Doesn't work. Um, when we talk about, uh, uh, when, when we say there probably is not a God, or there probably is not a God, um, we are making a nonsensical statement. Um, because there is um, one cosmology, there's one that we're concerned with, um, that has... God or does not. Um, there are not multiple cosmologies in which gods are present or absent that we can observe independently, separate of each other, as specific sample iterations from which to build up a probabilistic model. When your sample size is one, probability doesn't apply. The word probably uh, can only be used in the most colloquial of senses. Um, similarly, and th this is, I gotta say guys, this, this is a problem for the skeptics. This is a pretty big problem for the skeptics. Um, evidentiary claims don't work when you're talking about singular metaphysical propositions. Um, and here's, uh, uh, here's why. Um, the underpinning epistemology of evidence in support of conclusion um, is also probabilistic. That um, I have observed uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in environment X, uh, in uh, environment conditions, so on and so forth, um, I have observed occurrence Y a certain number of times within a certain number of samples. Um, we, do this, um, uh, we do this casually all the time. You know, I've seen that happen before, so, you know, um, so I can reasonably expect that in a similar set of circumstances it will happen again. It's one of the fundamental mechanisms of our um, uh, pattern creation uh, oriented thinking. Um, and uh, uh, up to and including, um, uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of um, built into our neurology, you know, like this is uh, one of the ways in which the structure of our brain alters as we, uh, as we acquire experiences. Um, this universe only happens once. You kind of see the problem? You, you, you kind of see the problem there? Um, evidentiary claims are based on um, samplings from prior event through which we may make predictions of future event um, based on, uh, 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 based on um, uh, multiple observations and uh, factoring of variables. Um, we don't have multiple observations here. Um, if we were to, now if we were to try to apply a probabilistic model to something like um, what is the likelihood, what, uh, uh, what is the probability um, of a miraculous recovery, and by miraculous we're talking about like a no appropriate medical intervention, what have you, 
miraculous recovery from leprosy. Um, well, okay, we've got, we've got multiple samples there, because more than one person in human history has had leprosy. Uh, so, we have, we can, we can, we can speak intelligibly on that, um, in terms of evidentiary claim. Um, we cannot with this, uh, with this question of God. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm going to wind up revisiting some of this other stuff, um, in, in bits and pieces later, but I just wanted to cover a couple of those bases.